hello good day folks in this video we can take a look into the name node federation okay so normally uh, we have seen Hadoop uh, cluster with a single name node that handle entire namespaces so we can have uh, multiple name nodes so that will uh, serve different namespaces say for example in a uh, normal case we have one namespace that handles slash under slash different directories will be there uh, we can add a federated name node service and that handles separate namespaces say for example uh, slash project one so one directory and that can handle by separate namespace so these name nodes federated name nodes will work independently so no need of uh, separate coordination mechanism in between so we will take a look into that okay so how this uh, namespace looks like so in normal case we have a single name node and a lot of data nodes and that single name node handle entire namespaces so everything will be under slash so under slash we have different directories in hdf slash user slash tmp slash hive etc etc but if you have multiple namespace so we will have we can have multiple name nodes so these are federated namespaces and each one handle separate directories or namespaces we can say and all these are connected together uh, same set of data nodes so all the data nodes commun will communicate with uh, all the name nodes so uh, this is about the theory again the earlier it was not allowing um, i mean so this feature was not there so the only the single name node was there so the hadoop hdfs federation addressed the limitation of hdfs architecture by adding multiple name nodes to the hdfs file system so uh, these are the main uh, properties okay so federation uses multiple independent name nodes and also we can uh, horizontally scale our namespace so again so these name nodes federated name nodes are independent of each other and uh, the data nodes always communicate with all the name nodes in the cluster so we will uh, uh, check how we can uh, implement this by using cloudera manager okay so in cloudera manager uh, from hdfs we need to set the namespace name node name service name so if uh, hdfs ha is already enabled then name service name already will be there so in my case so we will check whether it's a chain enabled or not no i have <coughs> one active and standby name node running so name node ha is not enabled so i need to uh, go and uh, add some name service name so go to the configuration and search with name service okay so here uh, we should give some names for uh, name service so we need to specify the mount point so slash means it will come everything but we don't want to use the slash so i am just using uh, some uh, slash tmp and user uh, here and to sec for secondary name node also i need to give some name then save that and then restart <laughs> Okay, at present I have these two directories slash tmp and u, uh, slash user. So I am uh, letting my uh, first name node name service to handle uh, this alone. So, but if I use slash means everything comes under slash. So this name service will handle entire uh, file system. So I am adding slash tmp and slash user and uh, name node one. This is the name service name and s name one. So this is the so I'm saving and uh, restarting the service. So uh, here you need to use the same name for uh, secondary as well as the uh, name node uh, name service. Okay. So if you, if I if when I tried some other name, so it was showing uh, a critical error. So I use the same name for this one and this and saving that. So after adding the name service name, so go to the HDFS, then instances, and you can see <coughs> the federation and high availability option available. So click that option. 
uh, here you can see uh, one uh, name node 01 is handling slash tmp and slash user and uh, automatic failover and uh, this is the secondary name node and this is the name node option then i'm going to add one more add name service okay so what are the mount points which i need so i'm just using a project project one okay so <coughs> under hdfc for project one so this is the directory where my uh, developers are using so i'm adding a new name service name so name service two and the project two is a directory then for name node so what is the host i need to choose so we have to choose the name other than that uh, our previous primary and secondary i mean name node and secondary name node okay choosing this one and uh, this one for secondary name node host continue so this is the directory that it's going to create Okay, so slash dfs name node and slash dfs name node, these two, two machines continue. So again, it takes some time. So we have to wait till this uh, finish. Okay, so this is completed, finish. Okay, so, uh, so currently running with outdated configuration. So we have to uh, restart uh, services okay so what are the dependent services so here hdfs require a restart this select and do a redeploy okay so it, it will uh, restart hdfs service because after adding this new name node so we have to restart whatever the dependent services that shown as a required restart okay so it's done finish okay bad health okay so we'll will uh, because it will go away in a moment because we just started re we did restarted so now uh, we can see two active name nodes and two secondary name node also okay since in my case it's not uh, ha enabled so otherwise you can see instead of secondary standby so you can see two name nodes running and uh, two are in active state so one handle separate directories and other handle some other directories so next step is uh, we can uh, go ahead and create our directories okay uh, which we need to manage by our new name service First, let's do hdfs dfs and ls slash and uh, you can see the name service directory and un uh, so we need to create directories under name service corresponding to our name service there will be separate directories so this is the directory so hdfs dfs iphan ls and see the directories the content so nothing is there so i'm going to create hdfs dfs iphan mkdir then enter this project one okay so i'm getting a permission denied issue so let me log in as hdfs super user and try the same thing so that's it i have created the same directory so now let's do a check here okay so get the name node uh, uh, host name so then try hdfs dfs iphan ls hdfs okay yeah so this one uh, showing project one okay so this is the one of the namespace and that is uh, handling the project one and the second one uh, we'll, we will check the second one and see what are the directories it handle so hdfs dfs iphan ls hdfs colon slash slash 
and you can see it handle slash user and temp so this is the name node which handle the namespace corresponding to slash tmp and user uh, another uh, thing is okay so you we can uh, copy the files from outside to this directory or we can copy from uh, this but if you want to copy from uh, this uh, content to this one it will not work by because so these are managed by two different namespaces so only this cp will work here or any other copy from local or copy, uh, put command will also work see uh, touch abc.txt so hdfs dfs hyphen put abc.txt to this directory right so I'm able to upload so but e if I want to copy from here to here by using HDFS DFS CP so that will not work here so under this under project one I have the file so suppose if I try to do that that definitely fails so HDFS DFS iPhone CP this one to uh, slash TMP okay fine uh, okay so with this it is hdfs option i think it's working uh, but let me try some other alternative so copying is working okay fine uh, so here i have uh, got two namespaces and for handling different uh, directories again i can go to the uh, configuration option and i can go to this federation high availability option and edit so whatever there's a lot of uh, options are there edit edit option is there or enable HA so we'll add one more uh, standby name node also so this is how uh, federation works so we have one namespace for handling this particular directory alone so another namespace for handling this again we have option to add and a uh, few more directories so I hope uh, you enjoyed the content so please subscribe thank you bye